there is an important trade setup that is showing itself on the usd jpy chart and that is what i'll be discussing in this very video so pay attention to this setup and watch this very video to the very end please support this channel by leaving a like for this video subscribe and turn on the bell notification for more forex videos like this also check the channel for more forex content on the usd jpy chart if you notice this chart is moving to the upside so regardless of the fact that we see this very drastic move from here to the downside market is recovering but this recovery that we are seeing right here is not strong as compared to the move to the downside which is very very important so that means the market is showing reduced momentum to the upside on the one day chart if you look at this chart the market is still in an uptrend because market is moving you know up come back down for retracement create a new high here is consolidation at this very point and the market move upward before this very drastic move to the downside nevertheless the market did not create any new low lower than the previous low that we see at this very point and also at this very area right here as you can see on the chart so that means we have a sequential higher highs and higher lows so market is moving upward in an uptrend so that have been established now the next thing is if you come back to this very area where the market is right now this is a sign that there will be a possible um, market reversal to the downside but it has not been confirmed yet for us to confirm that market have to break this very level of important support right here so market have to go back upward and then come back down to create a new low and then the next move will give us that very nice opportunity to sell the market to the downside on the one day chart okay this is on the one day chart but the four hour chart is giving us a new opportunity to short the market regardless of the fact that the one day chart is still moving sluggishly upward now one more thing before i switch back focus to the four hour chart is if you notice the way this market is moving upward is gradually reducing momentum around this very area we see the market move significantly from this very candles upward but from here we see reduced momentum coming to the market what that means is the bulls are gradually losing the battle against the bears in the market so if we switch back focus to the four hour chart you discover that this market is likely going to come back to the downside there is a high possibility and tendency of this market moving back down look at it you see how the market has moved on the four hour chart it discovered that there is a structural breakage on this very chart so structure has been broken look at it here market move from here upward and then we see consolidation and the market move up again and then we see retracement market fail to create a new high at this very point come back to the downside and create a new low move up a little bit come back again to create another new low lower than all the previous lows when the market was moving upward around this very area right at this point and right now i am expecting this market to come back from this very area where the market is right now of 156.40 on usd jpy chart so if you take a critical look at where the market is right now this very point i am expecting the market to begin to sell off from this very area of important resistance so if i take my two right here and then i mark this very level out this is an important level of resistance which is also a supply zone why because the market moved drastically for these three candles to the downside before this little retracement and the market continued that very movement downward so would this mean that the market is going to move downward from this very area where the market is right now is one entry point because the market have collected liquidity from this very area then market have capacity of moving a little bit into this very area of resistance which is a supply zone in this very formation and then from here 
you're going to see the market crash back to the downside as you can see on this very chart so right now pay attention to selling the market on usd jpy chart okay so there is no need buying the market because if you look at it at this very point there is a very high tendency 80 percent that the market is going to come back to the downside on usd jpy so what i am expecting right now is for market to come back down so look for sell position around this very point where the market is right now and most importantly this very area of resistance and if you want to take a trade at this very point where the market is right now from here you have to wait for this very level to break okay so you have to wait for the market to come back down a little bit to show us that very sign and then break out of this level of little support then you can then enter your trade around this very area that's number one now secondly you can also wait and see if the market is going to move upward from where it is right now into this very level of resistance and then wait for the market to come back down a little bit with one or two bearish candle before you can take that very position to the downside and your stop loss have to be above this very area of resistance right here so two scenario number one is where the market is right now allow the market to move down and go below this very level of support right at this very point once we see that this is an entry opportunity at this very point to the downside and your stop loss have to be above this very level of resistance now if this did not play out then you have to wait for the market to move into this level of resistance right here and then wait for the market to come out of it before you can take that trade and your stop loss like i said will be above this very level of resistance two possible entry points the first one is at this very point right here and then the second one is at this very level of resistance when market come out of this resistance is a nice point to take a trade at this very point as well so these are the two possible most important area that you can take a short opportunity from or a sell opportunity from on usd jpy right now this is a very very nice and important setup that are presented itself on the chart right now so if you move back a little bit to to the one day chart we want to take this trade on the four hour chart based on the fact that on the one day chart we've already seen reduced momentum just as you can see right here on the chart like i explained earlier there is reduced momentum right at this very point so it means that the market have capacity of moving back to the downside from this very area on the one day chart and the time frame we can spot out this reversal very early is on the four hour chart like i just explained so take advantage of that very trade opportunity coming out in the market right now on the usd jpy chart please support this channel by leaving a like for this video subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification for more forex videos like this also check the channel for other forex content thanks for watching today's video and i will see you in the next video